High school sports fans, are you following Varsity Media on our YouTube channel? For the best coverage of New York high school sports, make sure you head to youtube.com slash varsity media. Three easy steps. First, hit that like button, and then be sure to subscribe. And finally, tap that yellow bell to be notified of all of our upcoming sportscasts. Thank you for following Varsity Media on YouTube. Softball in Nassau County sees two of the best programs on this side of the island as the Long Beach Marines take on the Beth Page Golden Eagles on the Varsity Media Sports Network. And a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. I'm John Perez from a very sunny Beth Page High School. We're ready for some softball today as Beth Page and Long Beach get set to go. And Long Beach comes into this game at three and five on the year, three and four in their conference play. It's a bit of a young team, but led by the head coach, uh, Carmine Verdi, and Verdi has been at the helm for quite some time, says that his team's got a lot of upside, and he has a couple of players uh, that can make major impacts for Long Beach today. As his team looks for their fourth win of the year. Meanwhile, on the other side, Fort Beth Page, this is a team that's 7-1 overall, 7-0 in league play as the Beth Page Golden Eagles will be led by two of their best players as well and a couple of captains in there as well as Leah Casino and Tony Cassess. We'll start with Casino, the senior outfielder, hitting 300 on the year with a double and two RBIs. Meanwhile, Tony Cassess hasn't had that extra base hit yet, but she's great in the outfield and does a good job making contact at the plate as Beth Page will face this Long Beach starting lineup and we'll give you the starting lineup and for Long Beach right now as Bella Grigg will start it off. She is the shortstop Haley Cardiello, the all-county player, as well as Georgia Domingo, Myla Sanchez, Emily Egan, along with Frankie Kelleher, Gianna Hidalgo, Emily Adler, and Sydney Olivo as they will go up against one of the best pitchers on this side of Nassau as it is Riley Petruski, only a sophomore, someone who throws the ball hard. She and Madison Mandra have been the two main stalwart so far, but a little bit more velocity for Petruski. 4-0 this year, a 1.00 ERA, 35 strikeouts, and 28 innings pitched. As we'll take a quick break, and we'll have first pitch when we come back on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Dante does Terrific it again. Defensive play. Dante Zadaro. Yellico ties it up. Move by Diazzo. Steps up and scores. The jump shot, Fennell. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Hey sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. 
Welcome back to Beth Page High School. Ground rules are down and we're almost set to go as Bella Gray will lead it off for Long Beach. Looking for their fourth win of the year. Beth Page has been perfect in league play. They're 7-0, 7-1 overall as Casino and Petruski ready on the mound. And there is uh, Petruski as well. A good arsenal of pitches. She gets the start today, the number two pitcher in the rotation. But of course, in the softball world, it's really all you need is a couple of pitchers. Of course, Madison Mandra, We'll start at first base as Bella Gray steps in and we're ready to go here from Beth Page High School on the first pitch. Just misses outside for ball one to Bella Gray. Gray only a sophomore, good slapper hitter. Someone who was on the team last year. This is a Long Beach team that only won three conference games a year ago when they were in conference three. But someone who can get it done on both sides of the plate and is trying to turn herself into more of that lockdown slap hitter. As she sees herself now ahead in the count, two and one. Gray with good speed. This is a Long Beach, Long Beach team that doesn't strike out a lot and there's Pesky on the base paths. And is now in the count even at two and two. 71 degrees at first pitch. Here's the two, two. On the outside corner, strike three called and Petruski's got her first K of the afternoon. So a good job going inside outside by Petruski getting the first strikeout. And now we get one of the fun matchups to watch as Haley Cardiello steps up to the plate, the leading hitter in all county selection from a year ago. And Cardiello takes down and in for ball one. Cardiello is senior hitting 526 on the year, seven runs driven in so far. The future Johnson and Wales player. 1-0. Dribble on the ground to third. First opportunity for Bella Lomangino. And she fires the first. Two up, two down to begin the road half of the first. And so that'll bring up Georgia Domingo, the catcher. And Domingo, like Cardiello, is someone who Garnered some accolades a year ago as well. Just take the first pitch strike. Nothing in one. Domingo all conference last year as a freshman was battling ankle injuries and still has that brace in her front foot. Lines it right into the glove of Lomangino and the inning is over. So Petruski sets him down in order as Long Beach with nothing on the board. Beth Page coming to bat on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email Ben at Varsity Media. Did you just have the best athletic year of your life and now you want to show it off to college coaches? Well, let Varsity Media help you. Varsity Media's college recruiting videos show off your unique skills to help you land a spot on the team of your dream school. We'll provide music, spot shadow effects, and a link to send to your next coach. Contact us today for more information. Don't rely on word of mouth or cold emails. Let Varsity Media help you take your game to the next level. Bottom of the first inning, we're scoreless. Long Beach and Beth Page will to meet the starting nine for the Golden Eagles, looking for their eighth victory of the year. As Riley Petruski, their pitcher, will be the leadoff hitter. Haley So, only a seventh grader, and we'll talk a lot about her today in the two-hole. Madison Mandra, Julia Casino, followed by her sister Leah Casino, Libby Hoffner, as well as Gianna Bertuccio, Tony Cassess, Gabby Keener, and Isabella Lomangino as they go up against Emily Egan. Egan, good riser. Fastball changeup as well, and someone that will change the zone and pitches to contact. And Egan this year has pitched good enough to win, says our head coach, Carmine Verdi. And um, it's just a matter of making the plays behind her. But someone who is very patient at the plate as well doesn't always try and make the perfect pitch. And that could be the case against Beth Page here today, as this is a Beth Page team that 
will wait for that perfect pitch, and they can drive it as well. One of the top teams when it comes to extra base hits. And Nassau three as... Petruski will start it off for the Beth Page Golden Eagles here at home. And Petruski only a sophomore, but good two-way player at that as well for Joe Inglaterra in his second season, taking over for his wife as well. Julia and now Julianne, excuse me. And now Petruski steps up to the plate against Egan. And now we finally get some cloud cover in the first pitch of Egan's afternoon. He's in there for a strike, nothing in one. Petruski hitting 435 on the year, four extra base hits and three RBIs. Someone who finds a lot of barrels and can run into one. Sprays it foul off to the right side and Egan ahead 0-2. Infield outfield straight up against Petruski, who's got really good wheels. Singletara says that she's one of the best athletes on the team and can do a real good job of getting on base and wreaking havoc. One two coming. Just a tad outside and deuces wild. Two two to Petruski. Change up in there. Strike three called. Good job changing up the speed by Egan as she picks up her first punch out. And there's one away in the home half of the first inning. Defensive alignment for Long Beach. Emily Adler in left field. We'll go left to right in the outfield. Haley Cardiello in center. Frankie Kelleher in right. Mila Sanchez at first base. Sydney Olivo at second base. Bella Gray is the shortstop. Gianna Hidalgo at third. George Domingo behind the plate. And Egan on the mound as Haley So, only a seventh grader, steps up to the plate. Tacks the first pitch. Rolls it on the ground to first. Backhanded by Sanchez. She'll take it herself. Two up, two down. Well, we mentioned this Beth Page team, they're not going to wait for the first strike. If it's good, they'll swing at it and draw contact. And we're already seeing just five pitches in and two outs there. And first pitch poured in for a strike to Madison Mandra. Mandra, a senior, 545 batting average to begin the year. It's video game like numbers. Wave and a miss and a changeup, pull the string. And Egan ahead, nothing in two. Mandra getting the start at first base today. Here's the 0-2, high and away. One and two. But Mandra through eight games already, 10 runs driven in. One, two. Slammed foul off to the left side, and we'll do it again. He asked Joe Inglaterra what he likes about Madison Mander. He said everything, and for good reason. And on the ground is short. Bella Gray's up with it. Fires to first, and a 1-2-3 inning for Emily Egan. One full inning in the books for Scoreless on the Varsity Media Sports Network. We're watching Varsity Media, New York's premier high school sports network. Dante does Terrific it again! defensive play, Dante Madaro. Steps up and scores. The jump shot for Nell. Hey, sports fans! Did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today: five one six four zero three twenty fifty, or email Ben at varsitymedia.net. Nice crowd on hand here at Beth Page High School as. Home team 
locked in a dead, dead, uh, deadlock tie. Nothing, nothing in the top of the second inning as Long Beach will come to the plate. And uh, just a great atmosphere here at Bethpage High School. Of course, the three fields all next to each other. Uh, we're on the softball field today. Last week was at the baseball field. And then later tonight, uh, a good girls lacrosse matchup as Mineola takes on Beth Page. All you have to do is, if you're already subscribed to Varsity Media, just check into the YouTube channel at 7 o'clock. We'll have that one for you. But uh, we'll talk about the new renovations that they made over here at Beth Page as well. And you could already see it in the back of your screen as well as Myla Sanchez steps up to the plate against Riley Petruski, who pours in a strike, nothing in one. These bleachers have now been added uh, behind the plate, which is a great vantage point for all the parents to watch a game, and you're really on top of the action, which is good to see. Uh, Sanchez waves and misses, and Petruski ahead in the count, 0-2. Milas Sanchez hitting 357 on the year, an extra base hit and six RBIs. Someone who's really picked up her game from last year, added a lot of power. And watches a fastball high and away, one and two. Verdi always said that he knew that Sanchez had the power potential. It was just a matter of time. But that's in there, strike three called. Got her on an inside fastball. Second strikeout for Petruski. And four up, four down to begin the game for Riley. So we'll take another look as the pitch may be a little too close to take. Sanchez didn't think so. First pitch popped up right side of the diamond. It's Libby Hoffner, and Elizabeth Hoffner makes the catch for the second out. Two up, two down. That brings up Frankie Kelleher, the right fielder. And Kelleher takes upstairs for ball one. Kelleher getting the start in right, a natural catcher at that, and a good bat that plays. Someone could spray to the opposite field. That's what Verde really likes about her game. Pitch below the knees, two and out. Oh. Truski's done a good job changing velocity and elevating the strike zone as that's trickled up the middle and through for a base hit. And it's the first single of the ball game as Kelleher parks it at first. So first hit for either side and that brings up Gianna Hidalgo. Talgo, one of many volleyball players on this team, travel volleyball, so Carmine Verdi saying that he's had to deal with the lineup uh, differently this year. Of course, he's got the golden rule. If you miss practice, you're not going to play any game, and there's been times where players have missed practice due to the volleyball commitments. Hit on the ground a second. Hoffner's up with it, and she records two outs in the inning as they strand Kelleher at first. No runs on a hit, no errors, and one left on base. One and a half in the books for scoreless on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. High school sports fans, Varsity Media Pass is the exclusive live stream partner of Nassau County Playoffs. For semifinal and championship coverage of boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and baseball, head to varsitymediapass.com to order. Varsity Media is the home for New York high school sports. Hey parents, how about a bobblehead for your athlete? Bobbleheads are one of the most preferred personalized gift items today, and it's so easy to order. All you need is a photo of your athlete, a model number from our extensive collection of bobbleheads, and the sculpting process begins. Two proofs are sent for your approval, and once it's approved, in a few weeks, your bobblehead is on the way. It's that simple. Order your bobblehead today by logging into varsitymediapass.com and click catalogs or Call 516-403-2050. There is the lacrosse stadium, Howard G. Votes Field uh, for both the football and lacrosse teams. And we'll have great lacrosse, girls lacrosse game later tonight at 730. 
Mark it on your calendars. Of course, if you're watching this tomorrow. Wow, how about the ending of that one? As uh, Mineola and Bethpage starting at 7.30 p.m. You can watch it all on YouTube.com slash Varsity Media. Emily Egan retired the side in order in the bottom of the first inning, and she'll deal to the Casino Sisters as Julia, the catcher, steps in and takes inside 1-0. Julia Casino, only a junior, a de facto captain. Who's hitting 310 right now and does a good job of adding protection in the lineup. Especially when you've got the big boppers like Mandra and So ahead of her. 1 0, hit up the middle, and that's a base hit. So Casino stays red hot. She picks up her first hit of the day. And it's a leadoff single, and that'll bring up Leah Casino. Leah Casino getting the start in right field today and attacks the first pitch, spoils it foul off to the right side, nothing in one. Leah, seven singles, three RBIs. Someone who's really picked it up defensively and that's led to her good offensive performance. So far this year, as the count evens at one and one. One one, fouled straight back. And count one and two. Daniela Palmieri is the courtesy runner over at first base. And she runs for the catcher Casino. Casino with good speed in her own right, but if you get a courtesy runner, why not? Especially. Palmieri as fast as she is. One, two. Hit on the ground. The short could be two. Great a second for one. Olivo will hold on to it. They get the fielder's choice as Casino's, well, replacement Palmieri is wiped off the board. Leah Casino on it first. And that'll bring up Elizabeth Hoffner. Take another look as this one hit hard, and Gray gets it over to Olivo. And you know what? Sometimes it's better to just eat it and not commit any errors and then keep everyone where they are. It's been the Achilles heel for Long Beach so far this year is just getting outs wherever they can. And at times, the fielding has been a little suspect, says their head coach, Carmine Verdi. Hoffner, freshman, hitting 333 on the year. Two extra base hits and four RBIs. And so the count two and one to the Beth Page six hitter. Egan delivers. Served in the air out to left field. It'll stay up for Adler, who angles over to haul it in. Casino returns to first, and there's two away. Well, Hoffner hit it hard, but Adler positioned perfectly. Runner at first, two down, and that'll bring up Gianna Vertuccio, the DP. And watches inside, 1-0. Vertuccio off to a hot start, especially for a seven hitter, hitting 389 on the year. The wave and a miss. Downstairs off speed pitch. And then the count one and one. Beth Page team that's poised to win a county championship and go further this year. They've got the lineup to do so. One one. Change up drops in there. And a good pitch by Egan. She's ahead in the count one and two. Leah Casino, the runner at first, was scoreless last half of the second. One and two on the way. That's upstairs, deuces wild. Two. 
Slight breeze blowing out to left. Tuccio has some pop. Off speed pitch misses again and the count is full. Well, Egan trying to get Vertuccio to bite, but a good eye by Vertuccio as the count is full. Payoff pitch. Downstairs, ball four. First walk issued by Egan as Casino moves over to second, and that'll bring up Tony Cassess. Cassess the senior hitting 238 on the year as Joe Inglaterra says is the best center fielder in our conference and plays so well defensively. And then a good slap hitter as well. And is like many other players, has had her good defensive play boost her confidence at the plate. Spanks it foul off to the left side, and the count at one and one. Setting started with a single and a fielder's choice, a fly out and a walk. One one, wave and a miss. And a good pitch by Egan, who's ahead in the count, one and two. Way ahead here, kid. Well, Egan was ahead on Vertuccio, and Vertuccio was able to work the walk, but Egan looks to end it here against Cassess. One, two. It's downstairs. Ball gets past uh, Domingo, allowing the runners to move up. Ahead of the throw is Casino, and Vertuccio goes over to second. So now Beth Page with runners on second and third, and two down. Two-two. And then we'll do it again. This is a Beth Page team that has a team collectively hitting north of 300 runners in scoring position. And it's upstairs again, and second straight batter that is drawn an 0-2 count to make it full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs were scoreless. Beth Page looking to break the seal of the pitch. Off to the backstop, ball four. And a good ricochet as it goes right back to Domingo. Cassess draws the walk, back to back, base on balls. And that'll load the bases for the number nine hitter, Gabby Keener. And that'll bring out Carmine Verdi to talk it over with his pitcher. In order to just settle her down and settle down the rest of the infield as well. Verdi's been with the school for a couple of decades now and says he just loves this group, loves coming to work every day. It's an inspired group. They're a lot of fun. They're young, and yeah, they have to go through those growing pains, but having a good time coaching this team and a little bit of a slower start, but trying to get them to their fourth win of the year. As this will bring up Keener, the freshman. Keener hitting 333 on the year, three extra base hits and a couple of RBIs. And takes upstairs for ball one. Now two straight out of the zone. Short hopper to short. Bella Gray has no play. Thought about going to second. Olivo didn't cover. So she just holds it herself. It's a fielder's choice. And choice being not to throw the ball as Leah Casino comes in to score. Everybody moves up a base, and it's 1-0 Beth Page. Take another look. Take a look at the second baseman, Olivo, because that's where Gray was looking, and then Olivo wasn't expecting it. By the time she got there, had no play at first. And now the bases are loaded, and the first pitch is slammed foul off to the right side. Nothing in one.
So here's Riley Petruski struck out looking in a first at bat, the sophomore. Petruski, an opportunity to give herself some insurance against her opposite number. Pitch, upstairs. And the count, one and one. One, one coming. And that's downstairs and good eye by Beth Page and waiting for their pitch and no reason to swing out of your shoes, especially at a pitch that isn't there yet. There's a wave and a miss. Step on the plate by Domingo, and the inning is over. Petruski struck out twice, but Beth Page is broken through. They lead it one nothing after two on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media. Only 516-403-2050 or email Ben at varsitymedia.net. Did you just have the best athletic year of your life? And now you want to show it off to college coaches? Well, let Varsity Media help you. Varsity Media's college recruiting videos show off your unique skills to help you land a spot on the team of your dream school. We'll provide music, spot shadow effects, and a link to send to your next coach. Contact us today for more information. Don't rely on word of mouth or clean mails. Let Varsity Media help you take your game to the next level. Welcome you back to Beth Page High School. Riley Petruski with a little run support as her team leads it 1-0 over Long Beach. And she's given up one hit through the first seven banners at the plate, a couple of strikeouts, and will deal to the number eight hitter, Emily Adler. 8-9-1 due up for Long Beach in the road half of the third inning. As Petruski's been economical, has pitched to contact, and now heads to the circle for a third inning of work. Adler bunts it right in front of the play, picked up by Julia Casino, fires to first as pulls Mandra off the bag. It's an infield single for Adler. And that's exactly what you want for Long Beach after giving up a run and now trying to craft some offense any way that you can as well. So Adler, the runner at first, and that brings up Sidney Olivo, the second baseman. And Olivo bunts again and rounds it foul off to the left side. Count nothing and one. Well, Beth Page is expecting the bunt, and this is where Verdi will come over and get the message through. Sometimes so many signs that you have to go through, an indicator of what's being put down. Sometimes it's just easier to hear from the horse's mouth itself. Levo pulls it back. No play on as takes downstairs, one and one. Third baseman Lomangino with a couple of plays at third base, keeps creeping in. Pulls the bunt back again. And so a good hitter's count for Olivo, two and one. See if they keep the bunt on. It's two one, pulls it back again. And a good at bat by Olivo, the count three and one. Bunt pulled back again, four straight out of the zone, and Long Beach has the first two hitters on. As Adler goes to second, Olivo draws the walk, first walk issued by Petruski, and that'll bring up Bella Gray. Good 
Gray struck out looking in her first at bat. You know, a couple runners on, bunts it left side and just trickles foul off to the left. And now Madison Mandra will go to the circle and talk it over with her team. Mandra, one of four captains on this Beth Page team and brings a lot of experience uh, as well. Not afraid to call the pitching meetings or infield meetings and really execute here. And we'll see if Beth Page, if there is a play that can be had at third base. Runners on first and second, nobody out, the pitch. Right, hits the outside corner and the count, nothing and two. Gray is speedster, just has to put it in play. Well, that's outside, good scoop by Casino. Count one and two. One, two, wave and a miss. And down goes Gray via the strikeout. Third strikeout for Petruski, and there's one away in the third. And that'll bring up Haley Cardiello. Well, an opportunity for Cardiello, the all-county commit a year ago, is to take another look at the strikeout. And good job going to the outside corner as Cardiello takes low for ball one. Bouncer foul, third base side. And so the count, one and one. I don't know if that's going to 500 hitter at the plate as this is socked in the left field and it dunks in for a base hit. Adler had to hold because she thought that it would stay up. It did not, so everybody moves up a base. It's a single for Haley Cardiello in Long Beach now with the bases loaded and one down for Georgia Domingo. So here's Domingo. Hit it harder last time up, but went right into the glove of Bella Lomangino. First pitch. That misses, 1 and 0. Oh. Domingo dealing with her ankle injuries this year, but still putting some pop on the ball. Couple of doubles, five RBIs. Hits this one in the left center field. It's down for a base hit. And Long Beach is on the board, and they'll take the lead. Adler in to score. Olivo right behind her. It's a two RBI single for Georgia Domingo. And Long Beach pulls in front, 2 to 1. Good piece of hitting by Domingo. As Adler was going to score easily, Olivo took the extra base. And now Long Beach in front. And we'll take another look, and good piece of hitting. And that'll bring in two. As here's Myla Sanchez, a wave and a miss. And the count one and one. Sanchez struck out looking her last time up, but now Long Beach, a team, like we mentioned, a good offensive team, never out of it. A wave and a miss. And the count one and two. Sanchez came into today hitting 357, is driven in six, and pops it straight up into the netting. Count stays at one and two. And we've still got a long way to go, but Long Beach looking for its signature win of the year. First signature win of the year, that's in the dirt. Casino can't handle the ricochet, everybody moves up a base. As Domingo goes to third, Cardiello up to second. 
And a prime opportunity for Long Beach to extend their lead. This one hit in the air, deep left field, chasing back Keener. Track wall, it's gonna one hop the wall. One run is in. Right behind Domingo, Cardiello holds at third. It's an RBI double for Sanchez. Back-to-back -back doubles gives Long Beach a three to one lead. Good piece of hitting by Sanchez. And she was able to turn on it, hit it deep, and now this brings up Emily Egan. And Egan takes the first pitch strike, nothing in one. A one, downstairs. One ball and one strike to Egan, who popped up to the second baseman Hoffner last time up. Three to one the lead for Long Beach, the pitch. This one served in a right center field, and that's gonna fall in for a base hit. Cardiello comes in to score, the throw is cut off, and the hit train just keeps on rolling. Emily Egan, an RBI single, 4-1 Long Beach. Four straight hits for Long Beach, and here's Frankie Kelleher. Singled up the middle her first time up. And a cut and a miss. 0 and 1. Infield, outfield straight up as the wind starts to blow out. The pitch popped first base. Side Banders on the bag and catches it itself, and she beat the runner. So it's a double play. How about that? That's exactly what the doctor ordered. But Long Beach with four runs in the third inning, a 4 1 lead for Long Beach on the Varsity Media Sports Network. We're watching Varsity Media, New York's premier high school sports network. Dante does it again! Defensive play, Dante Pizarro. Steps up and score. The jump shot, Fennell. Hey, sports fans! Did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today: five one six four zero three twenty fifty, or email Ben at varsitymedia.net. Four straight hits gives Long Beach a four-one lead over Beth Page on the road as we go to the bottom of the third inning and now Riley Petruski with some run support and she'll deal to the heart of the Beth Page order. And Petruski herself giving up a run last inning that being on a fielder's choice as Leah Casino came in to score and other than that is struck out two over two innings of work just allowed the one run on one hit. She's left three on base as Long Beach looking for its fourth win of the year, and like we mentioned last inning, their first signature win of the season, and it's a young team, but Carmine Verdi says they've got a lot of potential and a team that can make a big postseason run. And of course he said, uh, like everything else, gotta believe in yourself, and for this Long Beach team, it's a matter of executing yourself, and when you execute, then you can start to believe. This will bring up Haley So, the shortstop for Beth Page, 0 for 1 on the day. So swung at the first pitch and grounded out to third. She swings at the second pitch again. Excuse me, the second pitch that she sees. Now behind in the count, 0-1. Haley saw only in seventh grade as Joe Inglaterra one day said he got an email out of nowhere. Said, hey, I've got a player I wanted to try out. Came to the tryout and just really is playing beyond her years as she pokes a single to left. And as advertised so, Able to put it through. 
He said to himself, who is this person and what is this about? Well, Haley So has been as good as advertised, only a seventh grader. And how about this? He's going to have her for six years if she stays at Beth Page. It's another stalwart for Beth Page. Mandra hits it out to center field. Cardiello's there, hauls it in. As Madison Mandra attacks the first pitch, it flies out to center. She's 0 for 2. So goes back to first, and now that'll bring up Julia Casino. First pitch hit on the ground to short. Gray's up with it, goes the short way. So's retired. And as Oliva makes the catch through contact. And there's two down in the third. So Julia Casino's retired. That brings up Leah Casino. Came around to score and grounded into a fielder's choice her last time up. She also hit it to Gray, the Long Beach shortstop. And it takes downstairs 1-0. Leah Casino, a couple extra base hits, hitting 300 on the year. Fooled on a changeup. It's 1-1. One one. Comes a 1-1, sprayed foul off to the right side. Well, it's so important after your team gives you run support for you to throw up a goose egg. And that's what Emily Egan's trying to do here. One ball, two strikes, two down, runner at first. A 4-1 lead for Long Beach. Rolled on the ground to third. Hidalgo gloves it, fires to first, scooped out of the dirt by Mila Sanchez, side retired. So Long Beach works around the leadoff hit. Three innings in the books. 4-1 Long Beach on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. High school sports fans, Varsity Media Pass is the exclusive live stream partner of Nassau County Playoffs. For semifinal and championship coverage of boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and baseball, head to varsitymediapass.com to order. Varsity Media is the home for New York high school sports. Hey parents, how about a bobblehead for your athlete? Bobbleheads are one of the most preferred personalized gift items today, and it's so easy to order. All you need is a photo of your athlete, a model number from our extensive collection of bobbleheads, and the sculpting process begins. Two proofs are sent for your approval, and once it's approved, in a few weeks, your bobblehead is on the way. It's that simple. Order your bobblehead today by logging into varsitymediapass.com and click catalogs or call 516-403-2050. We welcome you back to Beth Page High School. It's a 4-1 lead for Long Beach as we go to the top of the fourth inning. As the Marines will have 7-8-9 due up uh, against the starter for Beth Page and Riley Petruski. And Long Beach was able to keep the line moving last inning, scored four runs, an RBI double by George Domingo, followed up by a double by Myla Sanchez, and then a single to the right side by Emily Egan to give Long Beach a 4-1 lead. And now a chance for more as Gianna Hidalgo grounded out to second her first time up, steps up against the Beth Page right-hander. Swing and a miss, and a good fastball, nothing in one. Swing and strikes, good cut. Nothing wrong with that, kid. The Hidalgo, two-sport athlete, also plays volleyball. Yeah. Hits it off the netting, and Petruski ahead in the count, nothing at two. Good here, kid. Let's go. You got this. Two nice cuts, kid. Hidalgo, a young player, worked on her swing in the offseason, just cutting it down. Has some good speed. That's what Verdi said about this team. They're very fast on the base paths. And as we saw last inning, you put the ball in play and forced Beth Page to make plays. And it wasn't even that Beth Page couldn't make the plays. They just hit it to the alleys, and Long Beach was able to capitalize. 
on the inside corner. Strike three call. Good pitch by Petruski, and there's one away in the fourth. Fourth punch out for Petruski, and that'll bring up Emily Adler. Adler, an infield single last time up, came around to score. And how about Long Beach? Last inning, their table setters being from the bottom of the order as Adler with the infield single, then Olivo walked. And they really set up the top of the order for Long Beach now with a 4-1 lead in the fourth. The pitch, and on the ground is short. So charges, fires to first, and it's off the glove of Mandra, and Adler's on on the E3. So Adler, the one-out base runner, and that'll bring up Sydney Olivo. Olivo walked her last time up, and it was just like the start to this at-bat as Olivo showed bunt, pulled back, and Petruski wasn't able to find the strike zone. And she was able to get on base. Showing bunt again as Lomangino charges in at third base. Pulls it back. And two straight out of the zone, and a 2-0 count to the number nine hitter for Long Beach. Good hitter's count for the Marines. Pitch. Bunted right back to the circle. Petruski up with it. Fires to first in time. But a successful sacrifice, 1-3, as Adler scoots over to second. And Long Beach with a runner in scoring position and two down for Bella Gray. Bella Gray, a couple of strikeouts and two at-bats against Petruski. An all-important fifth run at th second base. And a swing and a miss for strike one. Gray's done a good job on the field today. Already three assists. But misses at the outside cheddar and count nothing and two. Petruski gets the sign, works quickly. Slapped on the ground to short. So second opportunity, and nails it. And the inning is over. Petruski works around the error, and will go to the bottom of the fourth inning. 4-1 Long Beach on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Varsity Media is offering a video folder that you can customize to meet your needs. A photo of your athlete can be elegantly placed in the front panel. Essential statistics with a biography can be printed on the inside panel, and videos can be downloaded and viewed on an LCD screen for as long as two hours. The attractive video folder can be placed on a coffee table and instantly becomes a conversation starter. Order your video folder today by logging into varsitymediapass.com and click catalogs or give us a call at 516-403-2050. Home half for the fourth inning, Long Beach with a 4-1 lead over Beth Page here at Beth Page High School. And of course, Beth Page now trailing by three and trying to get back into this contest as it'll be six, seven, eight. Due up for the Golden Eagle. As Elizabeth Hoffner will lead it off. The flew out to left her first time up. Attacks the first pitch, skies it right side. Onto the outfield grass is Olivo, the second baseman, hauls it in. One pitch, one out.
So Egan starting to find her groove as that brings up Gianna Vertuccio. She walked her first time up. And the first pitch socked foul off to the third base side. Nothing and one. Start to see the sun start to come out. We had a few drizzles of rain uh, last inning, which always spoils a 70 degree day. But unlike the baseball field, the sun affecting all eight of the fielders. We're on the other side of the plate and see how that goes into play for the rest of the game. But 0-2 count for Egan, the pitch upstairs, one and two. Egan gets the sign she wants, the pitch. Wave and a miss at a changeup. Tag applied by Domingo, two away. Third K for Egan, two up, two down to begin the fourth. So here's Tony Cassess, the center fielder, walked in her first plate appearance, rolls it over to first. Yeah. Caught in fair territory by Myla Sanchez. Five pitches in the inning for Emily Egan. And we're through four. 4-1 four Long Beach on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email Ben at Varsity Media. Did you just have the best athletic year of your life? And now you want to show it off to college coaches? Well, let Varsity Media help you. Varsity Media's college recruiting videos show off your unique skills to help you land a spot on the team of your dream school. We'll provide music, spot shadow effects, and a link to send to your next coach. Contact us today for more information. Don't rely on word of mouth or cold emails. Let Varsity Media help you take your game to the next level. Well, the sun's been shining for Long Beach today. A 4-1 lead as we go to the top of the fifth inning. And the sun now starting to play a factor. There you see Haley So with her sunglasses, Elizabeth Hoffner, as well as it'll be Haley Cardiello to lead it off for Long Beach. Cardiello one for two on the day with a ground out and a single to left her last time up. Cardiello all county a year ago and with a 545 batting average, spins it over to first base, might be able to beat this out, the cover, and it's there. Nice play by Madison Mandra. Hoffner came over to cover as they get Cardiello by half a step and one away. Nice job, kid, way to hustle. And the first pitch in the dirt to Georgia Domingo for ball one. Domingo, an RBI double her last time up. That really got the party started for Long Beach in the scoring barrage. They were able to tag Petruski for four runs. But Domingo swings and misses, and the count nothing and two. Truski gets the sign that she wants. Here's the pitch. Popped up, and that'll go out of play into the parking lot. And that's the one thing about coming to these baseball softball games this spring for all of you out there. Of course, you've probably already been there, but the trick is always to park behind somebody else's car. Pitch, high and away. Count two and two. Georgia Domingo's done a solid job behind the plate and at the dish. And then skies it foul, first base side into the new bleachers. Nope, goes over everyone else. Two 
Two balls, two strikes, one out. Pitch to Domingo. And that's spanked foul off to the right side again. Hey, great at bat here, kid. So good job by Domingo to rise that pitch count. Long Beach with this three-run lead, looking to spark another rally. The pitch. Good at bat by Domingo, trying to keep it alive. Pitch. On the inside corner, got her looking. Five strikeouts for Petruski. That's the fourth looking, and there's two away to begin the fifth. Take another look as Domingo did a good job spoiling off pitches, but that one belt high. And now five punch outs for Petruski as that brings up Myla Sanchez, an RBI double her last time up. She's one for two on the day. First pitch soars outside, 1-0. Oh. Sanchez hitting 357 coming into today. That's going to rise with the double. Pulled on the ground a third, ranging to her left, Loman Gino across the diamond, and the side is retired. 1-2-3 inning for Riley Petruski. She's through five. We go to the bottom of the fifth, 4-1 Long Beach on the Varsity Media Sports Network. We're watching Varsity Media, New York's premier high school sports network. Here's Dante! Does it again! Defensive play. Dante Zadaro. Yellico! Ties it up! By Diego! Steps up and scores! A jump shot for Nell. Hey, sports fans. Did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today. 516-403-2050 or email Ben at varsitymedia.net. Back here at Bethpage High School, it's a 4-1 lead for the visitors, Long Beach. A leading at Bethpage in the bottom of the fifth inning, and Emily Egan has found her groove. She's retired four in a row, and has four strikeouts through four innings of work as we take a look at the standings here at Bethpage at the top of the castle, uh, along with Hicksville, Glen Cope. I have an opportunity to move up in the standings, Island Trees and Baldwin. Gabby Keener will lead it off for the Golden Eagles. Reached on a fielder's choice her first time up, and then takes low and away, 1-0. Oh. Keener getting the start in left field today for the Golden Eagles. Hits it that way, and stays up in the air for Emily Adler, who was battling the sun. And retires her counterpart for out number one. We said the sun would be a factor, and Adler, cool, calm, and collected out there. I'll take another look. And so a good job to reach up as the first pitch is downstairs for ball one. Serve that way again. Adler's not going to catch it. It's in the alley and a roll all the way to the wall. Riley Petruski cruises into second base with a two bagger. Good piece of hitting for Petruski. She struck out her first two at bats and then sprays it to the left center field gap. And a good swing by Petruski. And able to cruise into second base, and that'll put a runner in scoring position for Beth Page. As this brings up Haley So, single to left, her last time up. First pitch, rolled foul, first base side. Pull 
Good job by Travis DeLuise, our camera guy over at first base. He really should stay on camera though, but I know he could really get distracted sometimes and we're working with what we got is what we're saying. And Travis, of all the camera people that we've had, he's one of them. Petruski, the runner at second, and the pitch popped foul, third base side. Haley so has a good eye at the plate, especially for someone so young. Gets through Domingo, throw to third as the runner goes. Petruski, she's in. Ahead of the throw. So on the wild pitch, that moves Beth Page that much closer. First wild pitch of the ball game for Long Beach as Petruski now with that three run lead. Looking for a strikeout here or ball hit right at someone. Pitch, skied in the air to left field. We'll see if this is deep enough for the run. Adler's under it and can't make the catch. She lost it in the sun. A run comes in. It's a sun-induced double for Haley So. She'll pick up the RBI as well, and that cuts the lead in half. It's four to two. I'll take another look as was Bella Gray going out, Adler as well. And not sure if the sun was a factor in it as well, but either way, um, Beth Page able to capitalize as they now have a runner on second and one down, and Carmine Verdi goes out there to calm his team down. And this has been an issue for Long Beach this year, says Verdi, is uh, just making the plays when time calls for it. So we'll take another look. That was a long way to run for Gray, and with Adler playing back, might have been a tough play for Adler, but either way, there's got to be some communication there as this brings up Madison Mandra. And then you see the Bella Gray dealing with the sun. As Mandra under the glove of Gray and in the left field for a base hit. It'll roll to the wall and another run will score. Haley So comes in. It's an RBI double for Madison Mandra. Back to back RBI doubles and that makes it four to three. Good piece of hitting by Mandra. Short compact swing. And then serves it into left field. And so we'll get pinch runner at second base, and we'll get the re-entry as well. As that's Ashley Blonder, the freshman. She and Daniela Palmieri, two of the fastest players on Beth Page's team. And just from a number standpoint, hard to get them as much playing time that a starter would get, but as courtesy runners, they're great assets to have for the Golden Eagles. Casino takes the strike, and the count nothing and two. Julia, the first of two casinos, one for two on the day, but reached base both times. Reached on a fielder's choice her last time up. Pitch, right back up the middle and through the box for a base hit. Blonder rounds third, she stops on the brakes as the throw comes all the way home on a great throw by Cardiello. But four straight hits for Beth Page. They've got runners on the corners, and one down. For Leah Casino, we'll take another look. And check out the arm of Cardiello, and hey, you don't want to run on that. Cardiello textbook steps into it, came all the way through, and threw it hard enough that Casino at first couldn't advance to second. So 
So this brings up Leah Casino. Scored the first run of the game for Beth Page. It pulls it just foul, left side. Yellow Palmieri comes on at first base, so Beth Page with two of its faster runners on the base paths. Palmieri runs, the throw gets cut off. It's a stolen base for Palmieri. And so now, Beth Page really pushing the agenda. They've got the go ahead run at second in Palmieri, and a 1 1 count upcoming. Pitch upstairs. 2 and 1. Two one pitch, popped up first base side. Milo Sanchez there hauls it in for a queen size second out, and so an opportunity for Egan to get out of it with the lead, as this will bring up Elizabeth Hoffner. First pitch to Hopner, who's 0 for 2. Outside, 1 and 0. Pitch coming. That drops in for a strike. And so Egan really muscling up. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Long Beach holding on to a 4 3 lead, home half of the fifth inning. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Gray up with it, bobbles it. And a late throw over to first base as Beth Page ties the game. Oh, the wheels of Hoffner really paying off as Blonder comes in to score. Paul Mary goes over to third. And now runners on first and third for Beth Page. And Joe Inglaterra calls a timeout. We'll talk it over with his team as. We'll see if he puts the first base runner and Hoffner in motion. As Beth Page now with a brand new ball game, it's tied at four. And so, Beth Page of course looking to keep this line moving, but has to really inspire the rest of your team as this brings up Gianna Bertuccio. Bertuccio will walk in a strikeout and two plate appearances. See if a pl uh, squeeze play is in play. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on Hoffner at first. We'll see if she's running. She is not in the dirt. Stopped by Domingo, ball one. No coming, wave and a miss. Good pitch by Egan. Egan's done a good job changing velocity and that changeup's been pretty lethal so far for Long Beach. And then before this inning, Beth Page really wasn't getting the barrel on the ball. 1-1, one, one. and on the ground a third and through for a base hit. Beth Page pulls in front. Paul Mary comes in to score, it goes all the way to the wall. They're going to send in Hoffner. She scores from first. And the Golden Eagles take a 6-4 lead on the bases clearing RBI double. Gianna Bertuccio dropping the hammer. A good piece of hitting by Bertuccio in the hole. And then gets through as the first pitch spunted and pulled back. And the count at 1 and 0. Tony Cassess, the ninth hitter up in the inning.
Good rip and a riser as Cassess fouls it straight back. And then the count one and two. Well, now for Egan, it's just a matter of limiting the damage and keeping your team in the game. And with the way that they've been able to figure out Petruski, when a two-run deficit's not insurmountable. Here's the pitch. Popped shallow left, and it'll fall foul. As Adler was ranging over, but didn't hang up there long enough. One ball, two strikes, two outs, Gianna Bertuccio. That's second base, the pitch. And on the ground to second base, Sidney Olivo's up with it, flips the first, and the inning is over. Beth Page sends nine hitters to the plate, and they take a 6-4 lead, five innings in the books. We go to the sixth on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. High school sports fans, Varsity Media Pass is the exclusive live stream partner of Nassau County Playoffs. For semifinal and championship coverage of boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and baseball, head to varsitymediapass.com to order. Varsity Media is the home for New York high school sports. Hey parents, how about a bobblehead for your athlete? Bobbleheads are one of the most preferred personalized gift items today, and it's so easy to order. All you need is a photo of your athlete, a model number from our extensive collection of bobbleheads, and the sculpting process begins. Two proofs are sent for your approval, and once it's approved, in a few weeks, your bobblehead is on the way. It's that simple. Order your bobblehead today by logging into varsitymediapass.com and click catalogs, or call 516-403. 2050. Welcome you back to Beth Page High School, and it is the Golden Eagles with a 6 4 lead. It's time for our Speed Island speedy play of the game. And we take you back earlier in this one as it's been a lot of running on the base paths. And we'll take a look earlier, and stolen base down to second base. Goes for Beth Page. That was Daniela Palmieri. Speed Island, improve your speed today with Onyx Salva and the gang. Located in Garden City, book a class today at speedislandny.com. Emily Egan, the number five hitter, leads it off for Long Beach in the road half of the sixth inning. And takes right down Broadway for a strike, nothing in one. Egan single to right, her last time up, one for two on the day. Lines it into left field, she's got her second hit. Of the contest. Good piece of hitting by Egan to go with it. Egan with another multi hit game as that brings up Frankie Kelleher. And the first pitch hit on the ground, a third. Off the glove of Loman Gino. Fires to first, not in time. Good speed by Frankie Kelleher as she reaches and. Long Beach with the first two hitters on. And this will bring up the go-ahead run in Gianna Hidalgo. And this will bring out Joe Inglaterra. Well, this is a Beth Page team that is hoping to get to the county final and, of course, um, play a lot. Uh, postseason play uh, this year in a team that has the uh, horses to do so. And of course, uh, looking forward in Beth Page's schedule, we'll see who they have the rest of the way, or at least for the next couple weeks at Hicksville on Thursday, Saturday at Carl Place, and then they return on April 25th to take on Island Trees. Gianna Hidalgo, 0 for 2 on the day against Riley Petruski and pushes it foul off to the right side. Count 0 and 1. Bunted again, left side. It's the third baseman, Lomangino. Her only play is to first as Hoffner. 
completes the out, takes a seat, and then fires home not in time as Egan comes in to score. Successful sacrifice, and the out was recorded. But it, but it looked like Hoffner just lost her footing at first base. We'll take another look. Yeah, there you see the slip on the base, and that allowed Egan to come in to score. Let's talk about a double bonus for Long Beach. You just want to move the runners over, and in that, you end up getting a run. And now the tying runs at second base. As this brings up, Emily Adler reached on an error last time up. She's reached both times that she's been up at the plate. And she had an infield single in the third and came around to score. Long Beach with four runs in the top of the third inning. Beth Page, their response came in the last half inning in the bottom of the fifth, scoring five times. Pitch, and sock foul, left side. Carmine Verdi says that he's really seen an improvement in Adler's swing over the last couple of weeks. And if she continues to hit like this, you'd have to think she's going to move up in the order. Right back to the mound, backhanded by Petruski. Looks at the runner, but still goes to first. And there's two away. So as good as the sacrifice bunt is, that moves the tying run over to third base. And this brings up Sydney Olivo. Olivo takes downstairs for ball one. Olivo will walk in a sacrifice in two plate appearances, so officially 0 for 0 with a run scored. And it nicks the outside edge for a strike, and the count one and one. Long Beach has gotten a lot of production out of the bottom of the order. As that one's poked foul left side. And so Petruski a strike away from getting out of it. Keller heard the runner at third. Here comes a one two in the dirt. Count even two balls and two strikes. Two, two, just outside. And a good job by Olivo to work the count full. Riley Petruski looking to add a little more and to reach back in the arsenal and get one more strike. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground, a third under the glove of Loman Gino. There is no play and we're tied. Kelleher scores, it's six to six. Two errors in the inning for Beth Page. And Long Beach making the Golden Eagles pay. We'll take another look as Lomangino. Looks like she just took her eye off the ball and went under her glove. That's where we stand right now. 6-6 six, six is your score as Bella Gray behind in the count, nothing and one. Flick foul left side. Olivo with good speed off of first. It's low and away. Shadow's really starting to creep in that right side of the diamond as that's flared in the left field. Base hit. Second hit of the inning for Long Beach. But they keep it moving, and that'll bring up their all county selection, Haley Cardiello. And we'll see if there's a pitching change to come out there as well as Joe Inglaterra goes out there. But good piece of hitting by Bella Gray to stay with it. Slaps it into left field and drops it in for a base hit. And so with that, Long Beach with an opportunity to take the lead. And we're going to have a pitching change and some defensive changes as well. And we'll get you all caught up to speed when we come back on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Dante! 
Dante does Terrific it again. Defensive play. Dante Vergara. Yellico ties it up. By Diego steps up and scores. Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Hey sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050. Right off the break, hit on the ground a second. Elizabeth Hoffner has no play, runner coming home. Here comes a throw to the plate, the tag, not in time. Sydney Olivo comes in to score as Haley Cardiello hits it to second base. And Long Beach goes in front, seven to six. Three errors in the inning for Beth Page. As Bella Gray ends up at third base. Take a quick look. And yeah, just couldn't get it done. As the first pitch to Georgia Domingo misses for ball one. Georgia Domingo one for three on the day. Has hit the ball hard all three times as she pokes it into right field for a base hit. And Long Beach gets some insurance. As two runs come in, Gray and Cardiello score a two RBI single for Georgia Domingo, and that makes it nine to six. So take another look and a good job through the hole. And good piece of hitting by Georgia Domingo as that brings up Mila Sanchez. First pitch to Sanchez, fouled right back to the screen. Nothing and one. So five runs already in the inning for Long Beach. This one served to left. It falls for a base hit. Two straight hits. For Long Beach, they bat it around, and this will bring up Emily Egan. Good piece of hitting by Myla Sanchez. Drop it into left field. And getting the barrel on the ball. She'll drop it in. And Long Beach moving station to station. As Emily Egan takes outside for ball one. Long Beach has done a good job of just staying in these at-bats and waiting for good pitches to hit. Domingo off of second, Sanchez off of first, and that's fouled off. And then the count two and one. Ball hit off of Casino and home plate umpire giving the catcher a, a little bit of a respite. Two balls, one strike, two outs. John Bertuccio trying to stop the bleeding, the pitch. Chucked right back to the mound over her glove, goes to the shortstop, so, and flips to first, and not in time. It's a live ball. Everybody goes to every base. It goes back to their respective bases. 
As they'll say, that Mandra didn't catch it cleanly at first. And we'll take another look. Yeah, she dropped it. 100%, that's a good call, and now the bases are loaded for Frankie Kelleher. Chance for Long Beach to break it open, the pitch. Wave and a miss. Strike one. Kelleher a single. As well as grounding into a double play and reached on an error last time up. Hits it on the ground to short. So, to first, in time, and the inning is over. Ten hitters come to the plate, and Long Beach scores five runs to take a 9-6 lead going to the bottom of the sixth inning on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email Ben at Varsity Media. Did you just have the best athletic year of your life? And now you want to show it off to college coaches? Well, let Varsity Media help you. Varsity Media's college recruiting videos show off your unique skills to help you land a spot on the team of your dream school. We'll provide music, spot shadow effects, and a link to send to your next coach. Contact us today for more information. Don't rely on word of mouth or cold emails. Let Varsity Media help you take your game to the next level. Welcome you back to Beth Page High School. Hey, look at that. It's Becca Kazax, our uh, do-it-all uh, utility woman as well. She's setting up for the 730 girls lacrosse game uh, between Mineola and Beth Page. And as she hides away in the press box and goes back to work, so does the pitcher for Long Beach. And Emily Egan, who now has a lead again and tough inning last inning as Beth Page was able to put five runs on the board, but have no fear. The bats for the Marines have also been here to play as well as they responded with five runs of their own. A 9-6 lead for the Marines as it'll be 9-1-2 due up for the Golden Eagles and Gabby Keener to lead it off for Beth Page. Well, of course, if you put the ball in play, anything can happen, and we've seen that over the last two innings. And so Egan back out in the circle. Ready for a sixth inning of work, the pitch. And that's upstairs to Keener. 0 for 2 on the day, reached on a fielder's choice in the second inning before flying out to Emily Adler in left field. The pitch. And hits the outside corner, 1-1. One one. We mentioned a few times, Long Beach looking for their first signature win of the year and a chance to knock off the first place Beth Page Golden Eagles. Pitch, served out to center field, ranging to her left is Cardiello, angles over and hauls it in for one out. That'll roll over the order and now it's Riley Petruski chance to help her own cause and start a rally for the Golden Eagles. First pitch in the dirt and smothered by Domingo, ball one. Domingo's been essentially a brick wall behind the plate for Long Beach today as Petruski doubled her last time up and came around to score. 1-0. And on the ground to second base, on the backhand is Olivo. And then not in time against the speed of Petruski. It'll be an infield single. Good range by Olivo, but Petruski, a hard player to throw out. And so something cooking for the Golden Eagles, as this will bring up Haley So. It's two for three on the day. Yeah. 
So takes upstairs, 1-0. and So really good approach at the plate, but swings at the off-speed pitch. And the count one and one. Now Egan's been the ace so far for Long Beach. And even though it's been some murky waters for the Marines, they're trying to land the plane and throw up a scoreless inning after giving up five runs in the previous inning. 2-1, outside, 3-1. On the ground to first, Sanchez is up with it, tags the bag, throw to second, not in time. Good idea by Sanchez as they get so at first. Petruski slides in ahead of the tag and there's two away. So this brings up Madison Mandra, had an RBI single to left her last time up. One for three on the day. As Mandra pops it straight up in the air. And the count nothing and one. <laughs> Wind blowing in from right. Mandra's got power and she goes the opposite way. We have the right fielder Kelleher playing deep in the sun in her eyes. We'll see if that's something to keep an eye on. That's in the dirt. Count one and one. And you see the shadows creeping in and a little bit tougher for that right side of the infield. Pitch, upstairs, two and one. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Here's the pitch, popped up and then skied foul behind the plate. And now the count two and two to Mandra. Yeah, Emily Egan threw up goose eggs in the first, third, and fourth. Looking to do so in the sixth inning. And get her team back to the plate. It's two, two. And on the ground to third, under the glove of Hidalgo into left field, base hit. Petruski rounds third, she scores. It's an RBI single for Madison Mandra. She's driven in a pair. And that cuts the lead down to 9-7. Oh, here's Mandra turning on it. Gets the barrel on it. And then goes under the glove of Hidalgo into left field for a base hit. As this brings up Julia Casino. Single, uh, casino singled the center last time up. She's two for three. And as Petruski pulls a string, count nothing and one. Pitch. A few hops to the shortstop. Gray goes the short way, and the inning is over. But Beth Page gets a run back. That makes it nine to seven. We go to the seventh on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's premier high school sports network. Dante does Terrific it again! defensive play, Dante Zadaro. Jellico ties it up. by Yeso steps up and scores. A jump shot for Nell.
Hey, sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050, or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Top of the fourth in, uh, top of the seventh inning, excuse me. Got out of read. 9-7 lead for Long Beach on the road against Beth Page and an opportunity to do some more damage as Long Beach with five runs on the board last inning. And after today, we're only right back in action tomorrow at Division and then Thursday against Island Trees before returning home against Baldwin on April 20th. This is a Long Beach team that's looking for its first signature win of the year and looking to string along a few wins as well. And they've got a two-run lead going to the seventh inning and last inning. They sent 11 batters to the plate, scoring five runs on four hits. There were four errors by the Golden Eagles, and not sure if they're sun-induced or what the case was, but Long Beach taking advantage of it as Gianna Hidalgo will step up to the plate. Last time that she was up at the plate, she laid down a sacrifice bunt to the third baseman, Lo Mangino, who fired across the diamond, and Hoffner, the second baseman who was covering, lost her footing and a run was able to come in. So it started with the runner at second base. Sacrifice goes down, so that leads to, that led to Frankie Kelleher going to third. She saw that Hoffner slipped, and she was able to take another 75 feet. No one, slammed foul off to the right side, and on the roof, over here at Beth Page High School, and the count nothing in one, uh, nothing in two. O2 oh, coming, just outside. Count one and two. Pitch, wave and a miss. Good job by Gianna Bertuccio who came on. And picks up her first strikeout. Take another look. And at the strikeout, and good job by Vertuccio to go up the elevator shaft as Emily Adler steps up to the plate. Adler, an infield single, reached on an error and grounded out to the pitcher her last time up. One for three officially. This game was started by Riley Petruski. She went five and two thirds of an inning, gave up seven runs, five of them earned on eight hits, walked one and struck out five. Fortunately, she's on the short side of this decision. As the count one and one to Emily Adler. Good job by Vitucio staying low and away and getting Adler to chase. Well, the job for Vertuccio is pretty simple. Just keep Long Beach off the board and give your team a chance in the bottom of the seventh inning. We'll have five, six, seven do up against presumptively Riley, uh, against Emily Egan. Comes a one, two. Fouled off the plate. Two coming. They're on the ground, left side. Roman well, Gino's up with it. Two away. Two up, two down. That brings up Sydney Olivo. Came around to score twice, laid down a sack bunt, and reached on an error her last time up. Olivo trying to spark a two out rally. First pitch. That's outside, just missed, 1-0. Oh. Bella Gray, who's one for four, would be next. So 
1-0. Low it away, 2-0. Two coming. Here on the ground, Low Mangino, another opportunity. Ranges to her left, skips it over to first in time. And the inning is over. 1-2-3 goes Long Beach. In the seventh inning, Beth Page will look to win it when we come back on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. High school sports fans, Varsity Media Pass is the exclusive live stream partner of Nassau County Playoffs. For semifinal and championship coverage of boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and baseball, head to varsitymediapass.com to order. Varsity Media is the home for New York high school sports. Hey parents, how about a bobblehead for your athlete? Bobbleheads are one of the most preferred personalized gift items today, and it's so easy to order. All you need is a photo of your athlete, a model number from our extensive collection of bobbleheads, and the sculpting process begins. Two proofs are sent for your approval, and once it's approved, in a few weeks, your bobblehead is on the way. It's that simple. Order your bobblehead today by logging into varsitymediapass.com and click catalogs or call 516-403-2050. Welcome you back to Beth Page High School as Long Beach with a 9-7 lead. Looking to lock down their first signature win of the year. As they lead by two and Emily Egan back out in the circle trying to lock it down for the Marines. And she'll deal to 5-6-7 due up. In the Beth Page lineup as Leah Casino came around to score 0 for 3 on the day. She reached on a fielder's choice in the second inning. Digs up, digs into the dish. And the first pitch downstairs for ball one. Egan's given up six runs on seven hits. And she struck out four and has issued just one walk. Comes a 1-0. Just missed inside. 2-0. Casino just trying to get on base. The pitch. Wave and a miss. Good changeup. Count 2-1. One, and on the ground, just foul, third base side. And that was a close one as Casino had extra bases on her mind. But after all of that, just strike two. Two balls, two strikes, no outs. Here's the pitch. Downstairs and the count's full. And again, reaching back. Payoff pitch. Fouled off. Just got a piece of it. Three outs away from the complete game victory. Comes the payoff pitch. Pop foul, right side again, and keep this at bat alive. Liz Hoffner would be next, followed by Gianna Vertuccio. 3-2 pitch, downstairs, ball four, and Beth Page has a leadoff hitter aboard. 
It's just the third walk for Egan. As Hoffner will step up to the plate. Well, Beth Page, one hitter away from getting the tying run at the plate. As Hoffner steps up to the plate, she came around to score after reaching on an error in her last at bat. Well, how important for Beth Page was that single run that came across in the sixth inning? Make it a two run deficit. Pitch, that's upstairs. Count one and one. One one pitch. That's on the inside corner. And Egan ahead, one and two. Egan gets the sign, the pitch. That one line to short. Picked in the air. The throw to first. It's a double play. Bella Gray caught it as it was sinking. And a much needed double play. And Long Beach, one out away. Nice play by Gray over at short. Take another look as that one was sinking fast, battling the sun, makes the catch. And then Leah Casino caught between a rock and a hard place. Big double play, and now Gianna Vertuccio steps up to the plate and lines it foul off to the right side. Nothing in one. Vertuccio with two RBI double her last time up. Officially one for two on the day with a walk. Pitch. Red slam foul off to the left side and Beth Page down to their final strike. Tuccio trying to move the line to have Tony Cassess step up to the plate. Egan looking for the complete game victory. No balls, two strikes, two outs, the pitch. That's high and away, one and two. Emily Egan getting the sign that she wants. One, two. That's low, two and two. Long Beach with a five-run response in the sixth inning to give themselves a 9-6 lead. It's now 9-7. 2-2 pitch, carved foul left side. We'll do it again. Well, Vertuccio just scratching and clawing and doing anything she can to get aboard. Egan trying to end it here. Beth Page looking for the road victory, the pitch. And that's pounded foul again. Good at bat, strung along by Vertuccio. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. Socked in the air, down the left field line, but yanking foul. Well, Vertuccio put a good swing on it, but just a hair ahead of it. So we'll do it again. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Nine, seven Long Beach looking for the road victory. Egan on the mound, one out away from a complete game win. The pitch, down and in, three and two. Egan just got a huge double play and now a chance to end it here. Back to the circle, here's a payoff pitch. Hit in the air out to left field, ranging over his Adler, she'll have to play it on a hop. And Beth Page is alive. Gianna Vertuccio with a two-out single, her second hit of the day, 
And that'll bring the tying run to the plate in Tony Cassess. What an at-bat by Vertuccio. Spoiled a bunch of pitches. And then is able to dunk this one in the left field for a base hit. And now here's Tony Cassess. As Cassess bunts it, back towards the circle. The throw to first, not in time. Emily Egan thought that she had Cassess. She beat it by a stride. And now that moves the tying run to first base for the number nine hitter, Gabby Keener. Take another look, see how close this one was. And throw to first, bang, bang. And tie going to the runner. So here's Keener who's 0 for 3 on the day. A couple of fly outs and reached on a fielder's choice. Hits it out to left. Let's see if it stays up. The dive and a catch. Emily Adler makes the play and Long Beach wins it on the road. Some controversy at the end. So let's see Joe Inglaterra. He's talking to the home plate umpire who emphatically says that it was a catch. We'll take another look on the replay as Adler on the dive. From the naked eye, looked like she made the catch. That was the call that was made. And Adler, she made the catch. She did it. So Adler makes the catch. Long Beach wins it, nine to seven. And the ball game is over. So Long Beach gets that signature victory as Emily Adler with a game-saving catch. Emily Egan gets the complete game victory as Long Beach moving up in the standings with a 9-7 road win, thanks in part to a five-run sixth inning. Well, what a finish that was by Adler. And Long Beach wins it 9-7. So that'll do it for our entire crew, for our executive producer, Ben Turchin. For Ron DeLuise and Trav, uh, excuse me, Ron Pierre and Travis DeLuise coming out of the bullpen. Becca Kazax was in this one as well. Chris Sweeney, our technical director. This is John Perez saying so long from Beth Page High School. This has been a presentation of Nassau County Softball on your home for Long Island High School Sports, the Varsity Media Sports Network. <laughs>